Hello, viewers. Today's topic is uh, good pasture syndrome. Well, it's a rare uh, disease that can involve quickly worsening uh, kidney failure and the lung disease. And uh, some forms of the disease involve uh, just the lung or the kidney, uh, but not both. And uh, good pasture syndrome is an autoimmune disorder. It occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys healthy body tissues. And the people with this syndrome develops uh, substances uh, that attack a protein called uh, collagen, you know, uh, in the tiny air sacs in the lungs and the uh, filtering units, uh, glomeruli of the kidneys, you know. Now, these substances are called anti uh, glomerular uh, basement membrane antibodies. Now, Glomerular uh, basement membrane is uh, a part of the kidneys that helps to filter the waste and extra fluids from the blood, you know. So anti-glomerular basement membrane antibodies are the antibodies against this membrane. So they can damage the base, uh, basement membrane, uh, which can lead to the kidney damage, you know. And sometimes this uh, disorder is triggered by the viral respiratory infections or uh, by breathing in uh, hydrocarbon solvents. So in such cases, the immune system may attack organs or the tissues because uh, it mistakes them for uh, these viruses or the foreign chemicals, you know. Uh, now the immune system's uh, faulty response causes bleeding in the air sacs of the lungs and inflammation in the kidneys filtering units. Uh, men are eight times more likely to be affected than women and the disease most commonly occurs in early adulthood, you know. So next thing is what are the symptoms of uh, uh, group pasture syndrome? Now, the symptoms may uh, occur very slowly over months or even years, you know, but they often develop very quickly over days to weeks. And uh, the loss of appetite, fatigue and weakness, these are the three most common symptoms. Uh, but next uh, we can say uh, there are different systems if uh, the kidneys are affected or the lungs are affected, you know. Uh, now, the the lung sy symptoms may include like uh, coughing of blood or uh, dry cough or the shortness of breath. Uh, but if the kidneys are involved, uh, the symptoms may include like bloody urine or a burning sensation with, uh, while urinating, you know, or the nausea and vomiting and the swelling which is the edema in the area of the body especially in the legs you know so these are could be the symptom if uh, kidneys are affected uh, now the next question is how your doctor will diagnose uh, this uh, group pasture syndrome you know your doctor will perform physical examination um, and which may reveal the signs of the blood pressure high blood pressure you know or uh, and the fluid overload, you know. And uh, your doctor uh, may hear abnormal heart and lung sounds uh, when listening the chest with the stethoscope. And if he suspects, he may uh, order the further tests, you know, uh, like uh, BUN or chest X-ray or uh, uh, creatinine serum, you know, or the anti basement membrane test as well and um, uh, arterial um, blood gas test or the kidney biopsy you know or the lung biopsy so these are the tests your, your doctor will order uh, to establish the diagnosis you know now once you are diagnosed with uh, uh, good pasture syndrome then the question is what are the treatment options well the main goal is to remove the harmful antibodies from the blood and the treatment called uh, uh, plasma phrases, you know, uh, removes whole blood from the body and replaces the plasma with fluid, protein, or donated plasma. And uh, removing harmful antibodies may reduce inflammation in the kidneys and lungs. Now, the corticosteroid uh, medicines uh, such as uh, prednisone and other drugs that uh, suppress or uh, uh, quiet the immune system may be used. Uh, controlling blood pressure is the most important way to delay the kidney damage and you may get medicines to control high blood pressure. 
uh, such as uh, uh, the EC inhibitors, you know, and uh, uh, like uh, uh, angiotensin receptor blockers. So these are the medicines mostly used for uh, blood pressure control, you know. And you should be closely watched for the signs of kidney failure or the lung failure, you know. And if the kidney failure becomes severe, you may need dialysis. So dialysis is artificial. With the, with the help of the machines, uh, uh, the waste products are removed from the blood. Now, if uh, you permanently lose the kidney function, uh, you may need the kidney transplant, you know. And the transplant is not done uh, until the level of harmful uh, antibodies drops. And the next thing is, what's the prognosis outlook, you know? Now, an early diagnosis is very important and uh, outlook is much worse if the kidneys are already severely damaged when uh, treatment begins, you know. And the lung damage can range from mild to severe. Now, the many people with, uh, will need the dialysis or the kidney transplant uh, after suffering from this disease, you know. And other possible complications uh, include like uh, chronic kidney disease or uh, end-stage kidney failure, you know, disease, you know, and the lung failure or the rapid progressive glomerular nephritis, you know, or the severe pulmonary hemorrhage, which is uh, also known as lung bleeding, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.